Hello fellow Gators, I would like to welcome you to the next part uh, of the project Aurora, unfortunately the last one. Why? Because in this uh, video we will actually make the part 2, basically the hour 2, and that will basically connect the rear and the front of the ship. So. Let me get rid of uh, what we already have, and this is basically uh, what we will do in today's video. Obviously, I already printed everything, so I already made some adjustments to models, um, because uh, during assembly I found that uh, there were few um, small issues, but that's uh, already solved, so uh, if you want to print it for yourself, don't worry, uh, those issues won't be there, because I already fixed everything. So let's just take a look at what we have here. Okay, so here we have the first part, and as you can see, as just like before, uh, we have uh, those uh, holes for the pegs, and everything is connected via those, so if I add them there... Okay, as you can see now, we have the pegs there. Now, this is the front, attached via those four pegs. Then the bottom part. And oh, small details. Yeah, this is basically a continuation of this part. And as you can see, it has this peg, so right now it's basically floating in space. But if we add the, this part, it has corresponding hole and as you can see it's connected via all those pegs to this part so everything holds together really really nicely obviously the bottom part will have to be attached only after the, the two hulls the front and the back are already inserted all right and then we have also uh, the cover that is here and here and that basically holds the both halves together. So this is basically the, the connector piece, I would say. And now the sensor. Okay, so we start with this piece. And as you can see, it once again has the holes for the pegs. So, so here are the pegs, as you can see. Now we will attach the, the bottom part that will go inside and then the top part and here we slide this part to hold the both halves together then we basically attach the middle part insert this side part and finally attach the roof, I guess, the top part. And then as, as you can see here, we have uh, those parts that we will basically insert those two holders, I would say. And we will insert it inside the connector piece. And that's basically it. That's what we need to do, and that's what we will print right now. So let's go straight to it. Okay, so uh, this will be the first part of the part two, I guess. Uh, only this thing, because I want to basically make the piece one big hole. I want to connect the front and back. So, uh, yeah, I already inserted all those pins. So now this part mm -hmm. now the bottom and to the bottom we will have also this thing and the whole thing yeah, we have the corresponding pegs. So if I 
like this and that's basically top and bottom and now we go but first uh, this piece was actually what I called a salvageable fail because of this it was not the fault of the printer but of the program that I made you see I did not use supports and this part here the overhang was such a, so so big that and there is also the hole that it basically collapsed and uh, one of the even though I uh, basically uh, using a knife uh, cleaned it up the as it, I don't know how very well visible that is but the hole is actually misshapen and the peg that was that was here did not go inside at all so I basically uh, broke off the peg and and uh, hopefully it will still work so uh, I highly recommend to you that uh, you print both of these sides with uh, supports because of this as you can see here this was with support and it is very nice and it fits together pretty nicely okay so let's start one That's at the top, and now the bottom. Okay, and now we have to press everything together. Okay, I pressed it together as much as I could. As you can see here, it's a little gap, but nothing serious. Yeah, it seems stable though from the side the front uh, has a little bit of tolerance but I don't really uh, plan to do this with the ship uh, now we have these two pieces so let's put it there attached here and attached here okay so now this is one big piece one long piece so we will simply retract the leg and as you can see it stands quite nice okay so this is the last thing that we need to print uh, sorry assemble now as you can see uh, the antennas don't look really nice uh, because of all that um, I call it a uh, spider web um, I'm actually thinking about making a new model that wouldn't have those antennas but would have uh, holes and into those holes I will put a uh, toothpick toothpicks uh, cover uh, colored to silver but I'm not sure because my kind of obsession is to have a hundred percent 3d prints yeah but it doesn't really look nice but for now I will assemble it <coughs> And if I decide to make a new one with the toothpicks for the antennas, I can always do it later. <coughs> okay, so as you can see, I already attached the two pins. So now we will start with the assembly. So we will take those two parts and put them together. And we will insert this thing to the back and it will it would hold them together now we will take this part and attach it there we will take this part and put the two of them as you can see together all right now we will take this thing and we use those three <coughs> pegs and insert it in those three holes and yeah, like this. Yeah, now that I uh, look at it, it will uh, it needs another layer of paint. Okay, now we will take this thing. It has corresponding pegs, so we will simply insert it and push it. 
okay so it's covered and now we have to attach those okay i in the end was able to push it inside though don't know why this one did not want to go inside that easy so easy as this one and i kind of scrapped a little bit of, of of the paint no problem i will repaint it all right so this is the sensor arm with the hangar and now we simply insert it here okay as you can see it's already attached it, this one uh, kind of made me work for it I had to grind it a little bit uh, in order to fit in there so I will check the files if I made a mistake because uh, it's strange that the problem was only with this rip and the problem was both here and here so I guess uh, either I messed up something in model or maybe it was misprinted but anyway it's done this is the Azuran Aurora And from the bottom, as you can see, the landing leg is extended, so now it's retracted. But yeah, this is it. The model is done. And I have to admit, it's one of the best I've made so far. Now, uh, as I said, I maybe take a look uh, at the antennas because that doesn't look that nice. But other than that, I don't have anything to complain about. Okay, so I hope that you enjoyed it. I certainly did. And we will see each other in the next project. Though what that will be, I'm not sure. Okay, have a very nice day and bye bye.